Hello guys, so in this problem what do we have? We have the graph x as a function in terms of t and y as a function in terms of t and what we can want to do, we will want to reconstruct the parametric graph. So first, as a step number one, let's try to figure out the bounds for x and y. So you can see that the first x graph is going to look something like this. So if we're going to project that graph onto y-axis, then we see that x goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. And then for y, we're going to have parabola. So if you're going to project parabola onto uh, y-axis, then we're going to have that the bounds for y from negative infinity to 1. And then next thing that you should try, you should try to sketch a couple of points. So let's choose points t is equal to negative 1, t is equal to 0, and t is equal to 1. You can see when t is equal to 0, then on the x graph, you're going to have point zero zero. So that's why your second component will indicate that x is equal to 0. For the second graph, you will see that uh, when you plug in t is equal to 0, you will obtain the point zero, 1. So 1 is going to be your y. So that's why when t is equal to 0, you're going to obtain point uh, zero, 1. And the same way you can check when you have t is equal to 1, then for the first graph, you will obtain that uh, your uh, blue graph intersects the uh, t axis so that means that at that point your x is equal to zero and the same true for the second graph where parabola intersects the t axis so y is also equal to zero so in other words we're going to have two points one point at zero one which corresponds to t is equal to one and another point uh, at the origin which corresponds to the uh, parameter t when t is equal to plus minus one so our next step right now we know uh, the values for our function for some t's so what we want to do we want to analyze our t when t belongs to some interval. So let's take the first interval from negative infinity to negative one. From the first graph, you can see for, on that interval, your x is going to be positive. And for our y, uh, the y on that interval is going to be negative. So that's why we know that if we have first, second, third, and fourth quadrant, then our graph, when t changes from negative infinity to negative one, is going to be on a fourth quadrant. And the same way we can analyze when t is going to be uh, bigger or equal than one, then x is going to be negative and y is going to be negative, or in other words, that our graph is going to be on a third quadrant instead. So right now we have some sort of information about our graph. Uh, another thing what we can do, we can analyze when our t changes from negative 1 to 0. And you can see that in that case we're going to have something interesting. We're going to have that our like x is going to be negative and y is going to be positive. But you can see that for our x graph, our x graph is going to be like a small parabola over there. So what does it mean? That means that on that interval when x is going to be negative and y is going to be positive, our x will go from 0 to a small negative number and come back to zero. And for our y, we also are gonna start, y is going to start at zero, and when x is coming back to zero, y is going to reach one. And we're going to analyze that, and x will sketch that in a second. But before that, let's take uh, the first interval when t goes from negative infinity to negative one. You can see that well, your x is going to be uh, positive, and then it's going to go to zero, yes? And what is going to happen with your y? Your y was negative and uh, also goes to zero. So in other words, if you're going to imagine the two graph, then you're going to start somewhere on the right bottom corner and reach zero. Uh, I suggest just you to sit down and think about there for a second. And again, like, let's come back to our uh, like previous interval. Then when t changes from negative one to zero, you can see if you're going to imagine that you're going to take like two pens and then you have a third pen. And then when your x is approaches uh, zero, sorry, when your t approaches zero, your x first is going to reach some point uh, in the negative direction. And then are going to come back to zero. But at the same time, your y is going to go to one. So if you're going to sketch it, you're actually going to get uh, the curve, which looks something like this. And finally, you can see that our graph is going to be symmetric. So that means if you're going to take your t from zero to positive infinity, then you're going to obtain the same graph, which is going to be reflected along a y axis. And this is it. This is like how we can reconstruct the parametric graph. If we're given Cartesian graphs, as x in terms of t and y in terms of t. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and bye bye.